All right then, guys. Welcome back to episode four of Oceancraft. We are flying along. So far, one A day, which is sweet. Uh, and as you can see, I have 48 levels, so things are good. We've done a little bit of changing in between. Uh, so it's pretty cool. There's nothing massive. That is something new that you'll see. And there's a fun story behind that. You see, I uh, sent a message out on Discord to see if anybody had a Silk Touch uh, book I could acquire. Uh, and it was agreed with um, a person called Sketchy Silver 96 who was on the server uh, that I could go out and trade either for 10 diamonds or 6 diamonds and a ender pearl. <laughs> so I went out, I wasn't recording at the time unfortunately, um, and I went out to uh, go meet them, <laughs> traded over so I could get Silk Touch, put it on a pickaxe, which was a diamond pickaxe, um, and great, and in exchange actually, um, they just gave me this instead, so I don't know what uh, they, whether they wanted the Enderpearl just to give me that, which was nice. Uh, so I've got the gems I've found in there, but actually I've got this stuff here, and as you can see I've been doing a little bit of grinding in between episodes, not too much stuff. Uh, there's 13 diamond ore, so I'm hoping that we're going to get uh, Fortune 3 pick today uh, with these levels. And also there is a decent amount of iron, a bit of gold, and I've been working on some kelp as well, so we've got a decent amount of kelp in there for now, and loads and loads of coal, and obviously it's the same on the other side. Now you can see there's a ton of fish as well and there's some more in there as well now that is due all to the afk fishing uh but before i go down to the afk fishing i <laughs> just want to show you something just look at the number at the side of my name eight eight that unfortunately is deaths <laughs> while i was out and about um i uh, uh sort of gathering resources i got um I discovered a magical spawner. It's a bit of a glitch on the server at the moment. And I had loads of stuff with me. Um, and I, at the point, I didn't know where it was, but it, it's now over there and it's not too far away. I'll show you later. Um, but I, in fact, I'll pop, a, I'll pop a screenshot up on the screen now. Um, as you can see, it is so lit up. But um, it wasn't stopping mob spawning for whatever reason. And it was an absolute, absolute nightmare. Um, and I got killed, but I didn't know where it was. I didn't have a clue. I was literally just about to check my quads. Um, and I got killed uh, because I knew I was going to die. And I just couldn't get there. And when I died, then there was a lighting glitch, which meant that everywhere was dark. So I couldn't even work out, work out where I was. So, uh, by the time I got there, almost a despawn. I lost, honestly, about 10 stacks of um, iron, loads of coal, and some enchanted tools. But never mind. We'll restart. Now, you can see uh, we're up to entity cramming in there now because we've got some uh, chickens. Uh, so, we've got tons of eggs. So, this is good. So, I've worked on that. I expanded this a little bit in between episodes, and I am going to sort of change this up a little bit because um, I didn't streamline it as efficiently as I can. And I rerouted... Um, the hopper, which is down there now, and that goes down there underneath here. So, obviously, we've got this down here, and then there is this. Now, we've not got too much, but obviously, it's a small cactus farm. I might put uh, expand it a little bit further to be a 3x3, three three, but what I really wanted to show you uh, is the loot that we've got. Now, obviously, you've already seen all the fish which I have taken out of there, uh, but what I want to do here is have a look at all of this stuff now i said i was going to open a bow shop and that's a good start for the bows um so first things first i'm going to take out all of the bows and chuck oh not that i uh, chuck them in there so you see we've got tons of bows now we didn't get too long the problem is we're getting kicked from the server um after a few hours normally if you do it overnight you probably end up with about 60 levels uh, so I, you are getting kicked from the server after a little while um which is fine because uh, if i happen to get up um to go to the toilet in the middle of the night i'm literally just quickly switching my screen on seeing if i've been kicked if i've been kicked i'm just uh, logging straight back in um and obviously i've still got um i put a stapler on my uh, number pad enter key which is what i use um in place of right click and uh, yeah, and so I just replaced that, and that's as far as we're up with there. And so a decent amount of bows. I'm going to get these combined in between episodes, and I think what we might do in the next episode is uh, go do a little bit of building. We're going to head down to the uh, head down to the uh, shopping district and get some building done. But I tell you what, I'm going to have a quick cut here while I sort this out, and I'll pull you back once everything's organised, and we can have a look at the loot we have acquired. 
Right, guys, so we are back, and I've got everything sorted. This is all the junk that's left in there, which is really cool. We've got some Nautilus shells there. Uh, so that means we've got enough, actually, for three conduits. Um, I haven't got any Prismarine at the moment, but never mind. Got tons of puffer fish, so we're sorted for underwater potions. Bunch of name tags. Uh, these leather boots, we are going to make a trash can, or I'm going to make a trash can at some point. I might make it off camera and just show you guys how it works. The water bottles, I'm going to keep, because we're going to need them eventually for uh, brewing. I managed to uh, kill a another uh, blaze as I was popping through through the uh, popping through the nether uh, in between episodes as well so that's cool so we do have enough for a uh, potion setup now as well which is cool uh, and more saddles than we are ever going to need so that's cool uh, those are all the bows we've got and I am absolutely in no doubt that we're going to be able to get a cool bow out of this so let's try and work out what we want uh, I would like a power 5 we're going to need unbreaking so that would get us to power 5 um, in Infinity would be cool, because uh, then I don't need to worry about bows ever again. Now, you can only have infinity or mending, so uh, those are your options. Uh, flame punch, we could do with punch as well, uh, but maybe not punch. So, do 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 do. Uh, power 4 and breaking, power 3, power 3, mending, flame, mending. Power four, because vanishing. We don't don't because vanishing. That'd be rubbish. Power, power. Do, do, do mending, unbreaking. Punch two. Power four. Flame, unbreaking. That is a that is a good one. And then we just need. Uh, did that have? So that and there was an infinity one just with infinity on. So that should get us put uh, power. Five with punch two, unbreaking three, flame and infinity. That is a nice little bow that we've got there. Uh, fishing rod wise, I've pretty much got everything that you can get. I've got luck of the sea three, but I've only got low two. Uh, so I'll work on that in between episodes as well. But this is why we were AFK fishing. This is what we want. Uh, and when I was transferring them over, I haven't actually had a look. So I don't know what we've got yet. So let's have a see. Um, been around the pros, been around the pros. Blast protection, efficiency four. Four's not too bad. Looting two, yes. Sharpness three and breaking. Loyalty three. Sharpness efficiency four, efficiency four. That's very nice. And the amount of efficiency fours we've got. Another efficiency four. Loyalty three. Aqua affinity, that's good. Fortune two, yes. Efficiency three, efficiency three, and breaking three. <laughs> Mending, yes, yes. Ah, I want another Fortune 2 book. Have we... There's not another Fortune 2, was there? Ah, well. Right, that and that. And... Was the one that just had efficiency 4? But if I trade it with... Right. No, I'm sort of torn because I want to do some... Um, I want to do some trading in between... Um, not some trading, some enchanting, but obviously one of the first things I need to do is get um, fortune on this pick. But I think what I'm going to do is obviously I've got a diamond pick at the moment. So what I'm going to do... Oh, and there's a book in here that I uh, found out about as well. What's that? Oh, nothing too exciting on there. So let's chuck this in and see what we get. Now, uh, you'll see that we've got a full setup, full enchanting setup now actually as well. <clears throat> Now, I did mention that over there uh, is um, what I suspected was an end fortress. It was an end fortress. I went looking um, in between episodes. I just wanted to go and check it out. I was going to record, but the server was lagging so, so bad. I could move around. Like, there was nothing different to how I was moving around. But unfortunately, um, the mobs were just sort of... Everything was lagging. It was really, really slow. Blocks weren't breaking. There was a terrible block lag. Uh, sometimes we were having to break blocks three or four times. Mobs were sort of moving like... Uh, 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 uh. So it was, uh, it was awful. But I, I, bit, I went over and explored just to find a library just so I've got a ton of books. And I have got, if we have a look in here as well tons of books so i might make a community enchanting setup as well um oh also uh, while i was in the nether killed a ghast um i actually got two of these but i was out and about with uh, sketch silver who got us the um silk touch book uh, so we split that because it was a joint effort killing it so let's have a see what we are going to get on this then so i'm breaking three and fortune two and breaking three nice i didn't bring the books with me what was i doing right 
Why did I not bring these books? That is a good start. That means I'm going to get Fortune 3 from the off. Come on, books. Where are you? Uh, boop, 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 boop. And... I'm going to take it in case we can put it on a sword, but hopefully we'll get a decent enchant on it as well. Right. Oh, man, that was a great start on the pickaxe. Absolutely amazing. Right, so uh, I need to combine that and that. Uh, in fact, we're going to do that after. We're going to do that after. Uh, so I need a... a s well, I'm going to pick up those, but we're going to need a sword. Uh, I've got these sticks... Nope. Right. So let's make a diamond sword as well and see what we end up with on that while well, I've still got a bunch of levels. Um, ba -ba -ba, and... Uh, I really don't want being in the mouth of pods. Uh, let's just... Uh, is there anything else I can enchant? Let's just enchant that and see what we get. And that's not bad and then we will pop <laughs> okay uh let's not enchant that uh let's do that fortune two i don't really want oh i do want silk touch on it though that'd be cool okay and try again very good we are on fire today with our enchanting so in that case if i chuck uh that and that in there uh, I could do with an unbreaking on there, actually. Um, but yeah, that's cool. So yeah, and then let's chuck them in there. Does this make any difference? Nine, five, cool. And then that and that, six, and then that and that, and then that and... that. that this is going to be a great pick. Look at that. 16 levels right now I'm hoping because I've been smelting some stuff up here uh, you'll notice I've popped a couple of uh, switches uh, levers there should I say so what that does is it locks these hoppers so um, one of the great updates in 113 is these hold now infinite XP not sure how much is going to be in here but that should get us up to the right level perfect so uh, yeah so it just locks the hoppers it means that uh, stuff stays in there um, come back food yeah, and then it means you can just take the items out, you gain the XP, and away you go. Which is why, at some point, obviously, I've been smelting up a ton of kelp. It's great for fuel anyway. There's a massive ocean there. Now that we've got all those puffish, we can get some underwater breathing potions. Uh, so, let's do that and that. Oh! That is an amazing pick. That is going to make um, mining four resources in between episodes so much more helpful. But... Oh, and uh, while we're here, we'll do that. That is far too many. That is also more than I have. In fact, right, we haven't got the levels at the moment for that. So let's chuck uh, that in there as well. We'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, just clean up the old uh, inventory. And let's see. So 13 diamond ore with fortune three. Let's have a see what we get. I think an average of two would be amazing. So if we can get, if we can get thirty, we've done above average here. So let's have AC and let's turn this off. We'll get surprised by the end. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm trying not to gauge. So let's see how we did. If we turn this back on, twenty-one. Ah, that's still good. That's twenty-one diamonds we now have, which is incredible. That is almost enough for a full set of diamond armor which is nice uh, so let's get these pops in here actually just for the storage system let's do that and that now I would love to do a bit more enchanting but obviously we're out of levels for now uh, so I'm gonna need to pick up some more of those later on but that's cool now uh, in the next episode, what I'm going to do building-wise is in this area, say I wanted to do some sort of like uh, Mediterranean style 
Uh, I've got some ideas, and I think I'm going to need quite a lot of uh, terracotta when there is a mesa, mesa over in that direction. Um, and also, there should be a ton of gold over there as well, which is cool. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to gather some stuff together. I'm going to head over to the uh, mesa, and I'll be back with you in a bit. Okay, guys, so I don't know... Um what happened there i've just had a i just went to uh, stop recording and it turns out that i wasn't recording so as you can see i am in the mesa so there was a tiny little mountain here uh, so i have um, obviously there's all the mesa there i don't know if anyone's going to want to build in it i don't want to destroy the terrain too much so uh, there's just this little mountain here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to completely pull this down um, it's going to take a couple of trips until I've got some shulker boxes or something like that. Uh, but as you can see, I've, pretty, I've got a full inventory. Now, it doesn't matter the different colours uh, that I have here because we should have a data pack in here which allows uh, re dyeing of any block to any other colour. But I'm going to need a few of these. I want some of the colours, obviously, as I say, for building around the base. Uh, the other bit I want for um, a sneaky, sneaky project, which I, um, I'm going to keep secret for the time being. Uh, so yeah, so that is it. As I say, I just wanted to show you the uh, show you the messer. So yeah, I'm gonna cut now, head back to base, dump all this stuff off, and then I'm gonna come back here, and I'm gonna have a see if we can find anything uh, cool in the abandoned mine shafts, which are in the mesa. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, so you can see this. Uh, clip now is actually taking the next day now in between i've actually started some work on next episode which you'll see next episode uh, but you also see i've got a ton more levels so uh, obviously i've did some more afk fishing overnight i've had a look at the loop no more mending books unfortunately but that's cool so we've got a few more a bit more stock uh, so next episode actually we're going to do some building uh, so we're going to head over to the shopping district and we're going to we've taken on the shopping district portal build and then we're also going to build our shop as well so that's cool uh, but obviously with these levels we need to get some enchanting done so let's pick up some lapis and we'll see what we get up. I think I want a better shovel, first of all. So let's see what we're going to get on that. Unbreaking three. And silk touch, come on. Now, oh, that is not a bad start, though. And then on here, we have got... Again, I would love silk touch on here. Ah. Well, never mind. Uh, and, well, I do have silk touch on that, so I was going to mend... Uh, this as well. So let's see what we were to get, we'd get on that if we were to enchant that. <laughs> right. Um, actually, I want silk to try to pick if that's what the next uh, thing's going to be. So uh, uh, uh. also, you can see we've got a few emeralds. I found some treasure in between episodes as well, so that's cool. Um, so da, 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 da. silk touch on the pickaxe. Let's hope for some other good stuff as well. That is not a bad start. Good, good, good. Right. Let's, uh, in fact, I wonder if we've got an unbreaking book, actually. That'd be pretty good. If we've got an unbreaking three book. Uh, do, 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 uh, that, uh, efficiency four. That would get us up to efficiency five on that pick. Um, do, 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 unbreaking three, power four. That would be cool. Yeah, that's all we need. Uh, and then it'd be just mending. Uh, that I might keep for a sword. Yes, that would be cool. I haven't sorted out me trash from the previous episode. Uh, but you can see I've combined the bow now. So we've got an amazing bow. Um, and that's all we're going to need everywhere again for uh, arrows. Unless we lose it all. Let's just see if there's anything better in here. I'm breaking three. That's going to be better. Uh, I'm breaking three. And... If we've got a just an efficiency four, but oh, we do. Oh, well, that's going to be much better, right? So, that's going to make that a pretty good pick for now until we can pick up some mending. Uh, later on in this episode, once I have gone and picked some gold as well, we're going to do a bit of villager wrangling. So, let's do that. Uh, so, we'll just repair this bad boy, and then that's my silk touch one. So, we'll do that, and then that. Excellent. Right, that's a good selection. That is a spare fortune pick, actually. So we'll shove that in there in case that picks up. And that's just a work pick. Uh, good, 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 good. Right, let's go. Back to the gold.
All right, guys, we are back uh, in the Mesa, and I think I have not got enough wood. I could do with picking up some. What do we get from them? I thought we got sticks from them. Aha, here we are. It's been a bit laggy at the moment, actually. I could do with some wood, so let's just pick up this. Uh, now, yeah, the good thing about the Mesa, and the reason that I've actually come back here to mine, even though we've got a mine shaft underneath the base, is, um, let's have one more, is the Mesa has um, disproportionate spawning of gold. So, um, yeah, it's, it will spawn gold at any or most Y levels. So it's quite a good place to look around for things. Um, so that is why we are here. Uh, it spawn at... Yeah, all wild levels. So we're going to have a bit of an explore. That was an absolute bust. But there is some more over there. So let's go and have a look over here. This is a rubbish mine shaft. Oh, and someone's already been here as well. Not really a surprise, but totally worth having a having a look look around in case they have missed anything. Anyway, never mind. But yeah, I will have a quick look around here, uh, and we'll see what we can find. If I can't find anything too exciting, um, or if I do find anything exciting, either way, I will pull you guys back. I have quickly pulled you back because I have found some cobble and I'm a little bit worried because I've only got six torches I have no more wood I can hear a ton of zombies but I'm hoping there's gonna be some loot so what I'm actually gonna do is <laughs> pick up a few of these torches uh, I'm gonna pick all of them up which does mean we're gonna have to leave this dark but that's fine uh, you can see we've picked up a decent amount of gold, one one whole diamond block, but that's fine. Uh, so let's come back to here and we'll go boom, 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 boom. And we will break into here. Now, I'm a little bit concerned because even in... Um, now, I meant to show you in the other clip, but I haven't had a chance to do it yet, is uh, the zombies in a different spawner that I found earlier were spawning and no matter what the light level was. So I'm a little bit concerned that even if I light this up completely, um, we're still going to end up with some rogue spawns. So I'm going to be a little bit more cautious with this, and we're just going to whiz around the edge and pick up just the loot, I think. So we don't need any of that. That is good. That's good loot. Uh... Good for name tags. Could do with picking up some more of that. Um, and is there anything good in here? Another gem, and we'll pick up the bones. Bones are always helpful. Cool. Well, in that case, that was uh, that was a bit of a bust. But never mind. Uh, I, could, I really could do with some wood. Never mind. Anyway, yeah, so I just wanted to pull you back to that. I was hoping it was going to be uh, something a bit more exciting. But yeah, I'm going to carry on collecting these last few resources. Uh, basically, I abandoned the mineshaft idea and I dug down to Y11 um, and figured, well, while I'm exploring, if I find a cave system, then uh, there's a good chance I'll find diamonds while I'm at it. So that's what I've done. So that's why I am down here exploring a cave. Uh, so I'm going to get back up to um, the island and I want to show you one extra little thing as well. All right, guys, I've pulled you back quickly. This is the village that is next to um, next to our base. And what I actually wanted to do, I was going to come round here later and pick up some villagers. Now, it does look like 
someone has already been here, lit up the whole thing, and... Um, yeah, completely lit up and protected this village. So I don't know whose this is. I'm going to try and find some information about whose it is. Brazier. Is uh, Brazier on? Brazier is on. Let's send them a quick message and see if I can pin some villagers. Villages for a breeder. <laughs> Let's hope he says yes. If not, I might help him build one out here. Liberator? <laughs> Unless he's AFK. I don't know. Anyway. Right, well. Anyway, right, so we'll leave him to that. Uh, I'm going to head back to base. As you can see, I have got, uh, I'm going to dump off my stuff. Uh, so I've got a decent amount of stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to meet you back, as I say, in a super secret hideaway place, which, uh, where's my, I've lost my boat. It's down there somewhere. Uh, yeah. And then I'm going to meet you back in a super secret destination, which isn't secret at all. Uh, but yeah, I'll pull you back, guys, when I am there. All right, guys, I wanted to bring you back now this is it now i imagine those of you who know are going to know exactly what i'm doing and exactly what i wanted to show you but let's do this and perfect and then by the power of video editing uh this next little bit's going to be a little bit slow so are you ready zoop right so here we are it doesn't look like anyone is up here at the moment as well which is Cool. So this is it. I think this was built by Scrappy. I'm not entirely certain. Let's just have a see. Anvils? Anvils? Does this mean he needs anvils? I'll bring some anvils. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so this is a XP farm, and it looks like we've got a ton of flesh. It looks like people are taking the swords unsurprisingly, but they're leaving the gold behind. Absolutely not jobs. Let's have a look. So all you do is you just jump up here, pop this down, and after a little while, piggies should spawn. Now, if somebody else is in the nether, stuff will not fall as much, but there you go. And it's just a case of standing at, kicking around here, stabbing them as appropriate, and then killing them. But I'm going to take um, this gold. Because if whoever was here last didn't take the gold, that is up for grabs, so let's take that. Ideally, I would have said they should have uh, really cleared it out um, of all the swords and put them in the chests, but yeah, that's cool. Uh, so I just wanted to show you this. So this is a great way of uh, repairing the uh, pickaxe, and I'm going to put mending on this as soon as I get it. Uh, so that is cool, but yeah, I on the topic of heads, I do have a ton that uh, back at the base actually. Um, so I did a bit, sort of a bit of a, a head hunting uh, expedition the other day as well while I was out and about. So that is uh, cool, uh, and I suppose it makes absolutely no difference. Then let's leave the nuggets there for somebody else to have them. Then, and there is a super rapid, fast way down there which I survived last time. Apparently, someone's died. I don't trust it, but. Ah! Oh, it's witchcraft. It's proper, proper witchcraft. Just buttons and vines, and I, I honestly don't know how it works. But anyway, so that is it. Um, and the next thing is a little bit of villager wrangling. Alright guys, we are back at Brazier's village, and I have got a boat with me, and we are going to pick up a couple of villagers. We're going to build a simple village breeder to start with, and then once we've got the necessary uh, stuff, 
then uh, I'm going to make it a little bit more refined. Now, I just need to get this guy over this path before I chuck him in a boat. Because, interestingly, boats cannot sail over paths. So that should be good. We should get him in there if I... Come on. Why can't I pop this down? Boat. There we are. So that is villager number one. So we will get him back to base. And I've just thought about this. There is... Uh... Oh, here we are. We can get into the ocean here. Uh, yeah, so I'll get him back to base, and then I'll pop back, pick up a, another one. It's going to be a brown coat. Uh, this. Uh, yep, that's Brazier himself. Uh, so yeah, so you can see that we're not actually pinching his favourite villagers. I'm going to tell him he's got a... Uh, cartographer in the uh... telling me he's got a cartographer in the nether I was going to try and get him back but his tunnel was only one wide and I didn't really want to dig it out in case it uh, spewed out any lava and actually killed the cartographer so considering he said he didn't want to lose any uh, white coats I figure we'll leave that there Stop being such a petulant child. Fine, get back in your boat. We'll do this the difficult way. Alright guys, I am back and uh, this is probably actually going to be the end of the episode. Um, I will show you guys what I have done for the villager breeder uh, in the next episode. But as you can see, it was a little bit trickier getting the villagers back than I had anticipated. So I've had to sort of uh, smash up my island a little bit because uh, I couldn't sail to exactly where I wanted them. And they really don't like stepping at one... Uh, one block gaps without uh, half slabs in there so it was a bit of a pain uh, I've made a little bit of a tunnel through here as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dump these here and I will build something for them and I'll show you how it all works obviously in the next episode but that is going to be it for me, guys, then today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. Uh, if you did, please do consider leaving a like. And if you haven't already, please uh, do uh, subscribe to the channel. Keep you up to date with these presently daily episodes of Oceancraft. And also uh, with some Ultra Hardcore Survival, new series which will have just started on the channel now. And there's also some Minecraft stories that I'm playing through as well. But until, guys, until then, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.